The residents, welcome to, I think, our 1,000th, 1,000th and 12th episode of the Derisa Experiment podcast. Uh, great, great to have you here. Speaking of podcasts, one of our fellow podcasters, I think he started after us. I uh, haven't heard if he had any success or not, but um, John Riggins, uh, he was in the new... Uh, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan has a pod. He's a podcast guy. And he was in the news, I guess, that he's um, carnivore now. And we realized that a few months ago, we did a carnivore episode. And um, do we have any um, footage from that? So this is our plan to get a little bit of weight off and just basically experiment. We're only going to eat three kinds of food in the next three weeks so basically one kind of food per week so and then we'll check in and report on our weight whether we had a seizure or anything like that meats think of this as a keto but not keto diet of the three types of food one is meats so get some bacon we got uh, some meat. Costco. Okay, so he saw that and decided to give a carnivore thing a try. Now we're way ahead of the carnivore thing, uh, but uh, we're glad to be setting a trend. So what we thought we'd do is, now that this is in the news, is to have a carnivore day with you. We're gonna have a carnivore day with you. So. Uh, we're basically going to have one meal, one carnivore meal, but to kick things off, we're going to have a morning wake up with a uh, mushroom coffee mix. We're going to also get rid of our carbs because carnivore diet doesn't have any carbs. So we'll do that and then we'll cook you a carnivore meal all in this episode. Let's roll. All right, we're ready to put this together, get our morning concoction. The base is the mushroom coffee mix, and it has coffee, arabica beans, extracted mushrooms. Uh, some good stuff. This will put some hair on your chest. Or in the case of our guru, Shas Argentine, more hair on your chest. Alright, so let's get with this and then we're gonna make our Derisa Proof Coffee. It's a new invention from Derisa. The Derisa Proof Coffee. It'll get you going in the mornings. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Alright, the tab is already broken. Thanks a lot. This is not quality craftsmanship. Anyhow. Alright, so here we go. Let's see how this goes. And we have a hot uh, cup of uh, boiling water. Alright, let's see. This is how we're going to get the carnival train going. Alright, All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh boy. This should wake you up, get you ready for a day of meat. A day of meat. Okay, the package is kind of jammed. All right. Get you ready to have some meat. Wake you up. All right. So, while it's warm, we like to add a little bit of uh, Irish butter. I kind of like it salted because it gives you, you know, some salt which you lose when you are on the carnivore diet. Okay, let's put a little bit of salt in there. Oh yeah. We have quite the instructional, uh, here we go, this is the butter. We have quite the instructional show today. I hope you're taking notes. And you can also replay the video. Forward it to your friends, what have you. And then we have the MCT oil. Get the ketones going, get the brain wave going. Let's give that a squirt. 
We got this one from Costco. Squirt, squirt. Pop some of this organic MCT oil. And for us, it's just organic or nothing. Organic or nothing. Okay, squeeze that around. And then for good measure, we like a little cream, whipping cream. Don't get any of that worthless carbs in there. So let's put the whipping cream in there. Oh yeah, make it nice. Make it nice and white. Make it as pasty as Tommy Gun. Make it that pasty. Once it's that skin color, you know you have it right. All right, and we have a bit of a sweet tooth. So we're gonna put in some Truvia, a little Stevia mix, also from Costco. Let's pop this baby in. All right, okay, now we got everything going. Now we got everything going. Give it a good mix, give it a good mix. All that goodness, get the ketones going. All right, let's give this a try. Our mushroom coffee mix, mix, sip, create. And that's exactly what we did. So let's kick off the carnivore day by a little taste test. Chocolate! <sighs> Goodbye! Oh, goodness. Hold on, I'm gonna try. Let's try this again. Try tip! Okay. Alright, it's percolating. It's percolating! It's percolating! Alright. Alright, let's, uh, we are wide awake. Let's get our little, uh, carnival day going. Um, if we run out of meat on the carnival day... Backup. Backup meal right there. All right, while this is percolating, uh, let's get the rest of the carnivore day going. We had our little sip, and uh, now let's throw away the carbs, and then we'll show you how to do a, a carnivore meal our way. All right, let's start the show. <sighs> New York steak! All right, here we are with the box of carbs. Now it's important when you start a new program, you get rid of the old program. Let's get rid of some carbs and hopefully this will be educational. All right, so first one, ketchup, of course. All right, ooh, that's a, that's a nice drop to it. Next one is, Vietnamese pho. By the way, we have a great pho episode. Check that out. Check out our pho episode for all the details. Oh boy. Damn it. Just nailing all those. Okay, next. What the hell was I thinking buying this? Bonza linguine made from chickpeas. Okay, that's gotta go. Let's see. And then we have it ton of this Sri Lankan food. One of those, oops, missed there. It's a little shack free throw. More Sri Lankan vile food. Time to get rid of that and perhaps, oh, the other one. Eggplants. What was I thinking? All right, send that back to candy. All right, what else do we have here? Bibi go rice, Bibi go has to go. All right, okay, that's a good balance to it. Mushrooms, we're not even going with that. Oh man, I love udon. That's gotta go. Sunflower seeds. In Vancouver, they call these rainflower seeds. All right, let's try that out. Cream cauliflower. Oh man, what was I thinking? What kind of phase was that? Pork and beans, off you go. Black bean fiesta! Fiesta! Not this siesta! Uncle Ben's. Oh, coconut jasmine. Gosh, that sounds good, but it's gotta go. Alright. 
Guatemalan cocaine. Let's see. Actually, wait a minute. That's not. That's has no carbs, and uh, I think it helps with metabolism. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's see, little bananas, cauliflower. Oh, that's gonna go. Oh man, I'm gonna miss this one. Look at this. Off you go. You gotta go too, buddy. All right. Last but definitely not least, I just got these from Trader Joe's. Usually hits this spot and now it's gonna hit that spot. Boom! So that is our box of carbs. Let's get rid of this. Let's start our new lifestyle. Let's get the party started. Get a hot iron skillet. Now let me show you how I test if it's hot enough. Grab a little water. Bam. It's hot enough. Now stay a safe distance away when you do this. You guys are not a trained, trained stuntman like Derisa. All right. Let's get this going. All right. So fresh patties, 80-20, 80% lean. We were looking for lower, but that's as lean as it's going to get in Trader Joe's. All right, let's see. Well, I'm only cooking for myself, so should have at least four. Let's pop these babies on. Let's do that sizzle. It's a good cut of meat. All right, gotta season these. So, let's salt. Season your meat. This is a restaurant style, so you want to season it. Let it sizzle, but season. And then uh, you gotta flip them. After about three minutes, flip them. So get the juices in there. Trap the juices in with the searing. Oh my gosh, I don't know if this is gonna be enough for me. Four patties? Well, yeah, kind of a diet, so. I guess we could use four patties. Okay, let's flip this last one. All right. All right, move on to the center. You like to have a little bit of the center action there where the heat is. Now, keep seasoning. You gotta season. This is not amateur hour. You gotta season. Now, ground beef has almost no fat so generally speaking ground beef is fat free so let's add a little fat action with some thick cuts of bacon we got these from sprouts get the juice oh bacon can all right get the juices in there get a little flavor from there now we have two types of animals in there beef pork Let's see how this baby goes. Let that, oh baby, let that fat sizzle and get in there. Get in there, big boy. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. Lock right. that around a bit. All right. So now that's cooking up pretty good. One last flip. Just because we want it a little bit closer to medium. Do a last flip. And then that's it for the flipping. And then we want to give it a little cheese. Not enough fat in this, so we want to garnish it with a little bit of uh, cheese. Helps with the flavor too. Let's just put some of that fine Tillamook Oregon cheddar on there. Get Tillamook cheddar. And then write in the comments how you're thanking me later. Oh boy, this is good. But uh, this is just for me, so it might not be enough. Let's add a little bit more protein. Uh, I don't think uh, this is enough food for one person. Okay, so here we go. Chicken, chop a lobster. 
chicken. So now we have three animals in there. Chicken, cow, pig. Where is that dog? Where is that dog? I think she's hiding. All right, that's looking good. We're done. Chicken is pre-cooked, so let's just finish this baby up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Made for a king. Look at that. Four patties. So this is a nice little afternoon snack. And you got the chicken wings. You got the bacon. I hope you enjoyed our show. We'll check in a little bit later to see how the carnivore diet is going. Make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. Requesting a flyby. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. No, no, ma'am, this is not a good idea. Sorry, Goose, but it's time to buzz the tower. Now I say!